Well, back in the good old radio days, we had a comedy show on with uh, the stars were, oh, who were they? They were uh, Phil Harris and Alice Faye. Yeah, that was a pretty funny show. Phil Harris had this little song. He'd say, smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. Smoke, smoke, smoke until you smoke yourself to death. I saw St. Peter at the Golden Gate, and he don't want to wait. So smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do you in. Well, I, uh, that kind of reminds me of uh, well, my high school days and uh, the guys I hung out with. Uh, the thing to do is to get in, get into drinking beer and smoking cigarettes, right? That was a while back, about 100 years, something like that, 15 more or less. And uh, I wasn't too enthused about it, but they sure were. Yeah, well, uh, someone handed me a cigarette, and I puffed on that a little bit, you know. And I just draw a little smoke in and blow it out. And when I, I thought, well, I'm going to inhale one, see what that's like. So I took a big inhale, and oh, was that terrible? I got so dizzy, I couldn't, if I would have been standing up, I would have fallen on the floor, yeah. That was the first and only and last time I'm ever gonna, I'm, I'm gonna smoke cigarettes. That, another thing I didn't like about it was kind of economic. I thought, you buy these cigarettes, so what do you do? You pay money to get them, and then you burn them up. You got a pile of ashes, and you throw that away. And I thought, well, what kind of sense is that? You buy something, you burn it up and throw it away. So part of the reason why I never got to smoking is I thought that was pretty uneconomical. <laughs> but uh, it was mainly because that, that inhale was terrible. It made me just so dizzy. Ah, okay, well, it's somewhat similar with beer. One time my buddy was over at my house and my parents weren't there. We had a few bottles of beer. I don't know where we got them. But I took a swig of beer and I thought, yuck. I, I, this stuff is good. You're like, no. I, you know, I kind of an analogy that I think of when I, the way I think about the taste of beer. It is it seemed like this is this is what dirty dishwater would taste like, and I always had that vision in my mind on on beer. So I never got to drinking beer, and and I and I never well I really couldn't stand I can't stand any kind of alcohol I don't like it. A friend of mine says George you you got character you don't drink. <laughs> I said, Fred, that isn't character. I can't stand the taste of the stuff. You know, so I, I don't want it. It tastes terrible. Why should I try to like it or what? One friend of mine says, well, I didn't like it at first, but after I drank a few bottles, I, I kind of liked it. Well, I didn't know how lucky I was. I never got into liking alcohol. The only thing I can stand is a screwdriver. You know, orange juice with a little vodka in it. I can take that because it tastes much like orange juice. I can stand that. I can take one of those, maybe two. But after two drinks, two screwdrivers, if I drink more than that, I start feeling sick. So I, I, I have a nephew that's just like that. If he drinks alcohol, it says he gets sick. So he doesn't drink. He's like his, his poor uncle. That's me. <laughs> well, I thought I'd tell you about that. You know, Phil Harris, when I, see, when I was out riding with his buddy, 
out in the car and his buddy says, you know, they're working night and day to try to get us to quit smoking. And Phil Harris says, well, at least we've got them working nights. Yeah, like we're going to get them for doing that, trying to get us to quit smoking. Didn't know how lucky they were. And I realize now that uh, how lucky I was. I hated that stuff to start with, so I never got onto it. And here I am, 180 years old, and, and I, I don't need it, and I don't want it, and I don't like it. So you know, I'm, I lucked out on that. Well, what else was I going to tell you at this wonderful time? I don't know. Just wanted to tell you why I like, uh, I don't like, I don't smoke and I don't drink hardly anything alcoholic. Just don't like it. So that's the way it is. Well, thanks for listening, Anna. I thought it's time for me to get on, uh, get on YouTube and try to make a video here and see if I get somebody to. Somebody might be interested. I don't know. But anyway, you know, thanks a lot and uh, stopping in and we'll see you again next time.